Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my random wee adventures. I am Aaron Avala, but it's nice to see you again. If you haven't seen me before, then it's nice to meet you. Today, I am in the beautiful Glen Affric, and I'm looking for some very special trees, the old granny trees. So, stay tuned to see more. Romans called it Caledonia and they spoke about the ancient forest that surrounded this country. Over 70% of the land just 2,000 years ago was covered in forest and it was dominated by these ancient pines, these beautiful Scots pines that you see behind me. The Caledonian trees were seen as a commodity chopped up and sold for timber. Today, the Caledonian forest has disappeared, man. It's not what it once was. And in my lifetime, it will never be what it was. But in Glen Affric, you can still see some of these incredible trees, dating 300 years and above. These trees should be a symbol of our country. These trees should be a symbol of our people and the suffering. Because the clearances were not, were not just of the people, man. It was not just the people and sheep transitions. It was the fact that our incredible forests, which our people regarded as absolutely sacred, it's disappeared, man. It's disappeared. But today, we're gonna go have a wee look and see because these trees still bring me so much happiness and I hope they can do the same for you. Second World War, Glen Affric was being controlled by the Forestry Commission, our good old pals, eh? Who was quite fast to re be recognised that Glen Affric still had some of these incredible old trees still remaining. And a guy called Finlay McRae actually came and took responsibility for the land. Finley McRae overseen roughly 8 million trees being planted in the area. Includes like native pines, birches, willows, etc. Still today, these pines that you see around you are at the most 300 year old. I know they're not the incredibly large, massive trees that you see some places in the world. But like I say, for me they are a sign of of our people. They're a sign of our culture. And when I look at these trees, when you turn around and just have a look at them, you realise how special they are. Unfortunately, they're quite a rarity. Once Finlay took responsibility for the land, the Forestry Commission didn't really have much control. Now, over like the south side of Glen Affric, you'll still find a lot of these um, 
Forestry Commission trees, non-native woodland, which is super harmful for the environment. But on this side, you can still see some of this, which was once a majestic forest. Now, in about 2000, 2002 I think it was, the land was handed over as like a nature reserve. And if you keep going through Glen Affric, which we're not going to do today, you find a really deforested land where uh, trees for life uh, have actually started planting. It's not something that you can do in just a few years or in a lifetime. Reforesting a country or land is something that takes centuries really. And we have to start planting trees this year guys. It's an absolute must if you ask me. Beautiful views of trees. So I have walked out of the kind of woodland area to show you. See granny tree, granny tree. We have some non-native there too. Look at this, this is a fucking forest. Oh, why can't we have forest everywhere, man? You guys don't get to see it yet. Are you ready? You think you can handle it? Look at this. Oh yes. We're on top of the forest, guys. A real woodland. Where everybody works together. The plants, the birds, the insects, and the humans. Hi, you can. You can see lots of granny trees. Lots of granny trees. As far as you can see, I have no doubt that in the future this will be a thriving woodland, a native land, man, that we can claim as our own. Because these trees, mate, they don't, people don't understand these trees. These trees are, are not one generation of human. These trees are hundreds of years. These trees can live for thousands of years, not obviously not all of them. But they can. That's us back down off the wee hill. I am actually um, basking under one of my favourite trees in the whole of Glen Africa. It's just very peaceful underneath this beautiful tree. I'm trying to get some shade from the sun because it's an absolute scorching day. And although I did bring you here to show you some of the granny trees, I actually woke up this morning very, very excited. And the reason for that was a completely empty jar. And this jar needs filled. that it's what war looks like these beasties try to protect their jewels oh Mwah. Mm. the beasties will never 
defeat the apex predator. Oh yes, blueberry-tastic. This is literally riddled in blueberries. Is it guys from me and the uh, glorious Glen Afric? Hope you enjoyed to oh shit. I hope you enjoyed today's wee adventures. I am gonna coop stuff in my face with blueberries. It's just amazing. Woohoo blueberries! Every Sunday there'll be a new video. Um I'm also considering doing some like live streams or something like that. I really enjoy making the videos, but it's very difficult for me to kind of try and um, kind of focus everything. My head gets a bit all over the place and that's not really where it wants to be. So at the moment, I'm, you're gonna probably get keep getting these random videos every week. I need to put top on, man. These beasties are absolutely munching me, man. Oof, 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 oof. Um, I'll do my best every week for a new wee video. And until the next time, Cheerio the new!